Got my notes, check. Pepsi, check. Sunglasses, check. Hat, check. Thick skin, check. And sources, check. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Blue Dude, everybody. This is where we cover all of college football. So if you're a college football fan, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I call my Patreons the Shot Callers, and I can't wait to live stream some games and watch it with my Patreons and the score prediction contest. That's going to be fun. You know, whenever the when, whenever the Pac-12 lost USC and UCLA to the Big Ten, and then Fox announced, hey, we aren't even bidding on the Pac-12 anymore. I didn't think that was a, a big deal. I was like, yeah, that's smart. The pac 12s falling apart. You don't want to waste your money. That's a good move, Fox. Turns out that might be terrible news because now from what I'm hearing and it's being reported by major sources that ESPN is the main contender to pick up the pac 12 TV rights. This is, this is not good for the Big 12. This is not good for Fox. Fox should get their hands back into the pac 12 because here's what's going to happen if they don't. ESPN can grab the rights to the Pac-12, right? And then the Pac-12 is solidified. Nobody else is going to leave the Pac-12. And then the Big 12 is now left on an island. They have Fox. Everybody else has ESPN. This is not good for the Big 12. And now what ESPN can do is a bunch of things. I don't know exactly what they will do or what they would do, but these are the things that they could do. So they could pick up the TV rights to the Pac-12, shut down the Pac-12 network, and kind of consolidate it into the ACC network and create a coast-to-coast -coast conference. And I kind of touched on this yesterday as an opinion without what I've heard today. Well, now that I've heard what I've heard today, that video that I made yesterday makes even more sense. ESPN can pick up the Pac-12, consolidate it with the ACC, make that a coast-to-coast, -coast, and have leverage to negotiate and tempt teams from the Big 12 to join either the Pac-12 or the ACC. Or if it's consolidated, whatever conference that is. This, this is not good for the Big 12. This is not good at all. They can most definitely get picked apart now. And it would tip Notre Dame to the ACC even more. So ESPN could create their own farming system. Hey, you join the ACC if you're good enough. Eventually, we'll bump you up to the SEC. But at minimum, you get to join an ACC or a Pac-12. Notre Dame coming into the ACC, adding value to that. Remember, I talked about ESPN and ACC wanting to talk about renegotiating that TV deal. This, this is literally changing the landscape of college football. I did not, I didn't realize that Fox not bidding on the Pac-12 could turn into a major deal. But it most definitely could turn into a major deal. If ESPN does pick up the TV deal for the Pac-12, this could be worst case scenario for the Big 12. And I'm not encouraging people that are fans of teams in the Big 12 to panic unless you absolutely do not want to leave the Big 12. In that case, you do need to panic. I do think that all the teams would have the landing spot that they need if the Big 12 were picked apart. If you're just worried about your team, no need to worry, you'll have a landing spot. But if you're a fan of the Big 12 in general, you need to worry. The, the tables may have been turned if ESPN picks up this Pac-12. Instead of the Pac-12 being in danger of extinction, it could be the Big 12. The ACC would love this. The Pac-12 would love this. The SEC most definitely would love this because they could get the big brands from the ACC and then the ACC could refill from the Big 12 and the Big 12 could be split right down the middle. Half go to the ACC and half go to the Pac-12. This is not a good deal for the Big 12. This could totally change the landscape of college football. And we already know that the landscape of college football is changing, especially with the Big 10 grabbing USC and UCLA. And what kind of money are we talking about? Now, at first, it might not be that much because we're talking about the Pac-12 and now it's the Pac-10. But if you consolidate, then you could re renegotiate that TV deal and have a massive, massive TV deal and then USC and UCLA are like, man, why did we go to the Big Ten? Yes, we're getting a lot of money, but now that's competitive money, and we wouldn't have the horrible travel schedule that we're going to have. So USC and UCLA could end up kicking themselves in the rear end if this goes down like that. Now, it might not go down like that. Maybe ESPN picks up the Pac-10 and keeps it as is and adds some team from the Mountain West, adds some value to that, and that TV deal's decent 
but they don't consolidate with the ACC. Well, if that money with just the Pac-10 adding Mountain West teams is competitive somehow, some way with the SEC and the Big Ten, USC and UCLA will still be kicking themselves on the rear end because you can make competitive money and not have that terrible travel schedule. And trust me, as a West Virginia fan, that matters. We were number two in revenue right behind Kansas in the new Big 12, not counting Oklahoma and Texas, but we were dead last in revenue because of our travel schedule. So let me be crystal clear about this. Your travel schedule will, will, will put a dent in your revenue. It's going to hurt a little bit. So if you look at the math and say, hey, if we would have stayed in the Pac-12, considering the travel cost, it evens out and we don't have to travel, man, that was a terrible decision. So there's a lot of things that could shake out of this and USC and UCLA could be like, man, we, we could have stayed in the Pac-12. Our travel schedule would have been much more competitive. We have a much better shot of winning the Pac-12 and getting to the playoffs, especially if the playoffs expand. So in the future, we'll, we'll see how all this shakes out. I'm not saying that's the road this is going to go down, but if it does, they could be regretting their decision joining the Big Ten. This would be a win for the remaining teams in the Pac-12 slash Pac-10. This would be a win for the ACC. This would be a win for the SEC. And this would be a win for Notre Dame. And it would be a massive, massive blow for the Big 12. If I were Fox, hey, here's some advice, Fox. If I were you, I would try bidding on the Pac-10. Try to get it at a low price. But you gotta beat ESPN because this could turn into a bad, bad, bad situation for Fox in the Big 12. You gotta start bidding on the Pac-10 just to keep ESPN out of it. Because if ESPN gets their hands on the Pac-12, it, it, it's gonna be trouble for the Big 12. I'm gonna keep my finger on the pulse of this situation because it changes every stinking day. And how I didn't understand the significance of Fox not bidding on the Pac-10, I just thought they were gonna dissolve. Hey, that's a good decision by Fox. Not so fast. What if they don't dissolve and ESPN gets their rights? Then that's not a good thing for Fox or the Big 12. And instead of the Pac-12 going out of business, it could be the Big 12 going out of business. This is a big time deal. And ESPN renegotiating their TV deal with the ACC. Their value goes up as well. So they could tempt teams out of the Big 12 and put Fox out of business when it comes to college football. Well played ESPN. Well played. Y'all let me know in the comments section what you think is going to actually happen. Do you think ESPN is going to grab the TV rights to the Pac-10? Do you think Fox is actually going to start bidding now that they see ESPN is interested in the Pac-10? Do you think the Pac-10 continues to exist? And do you think ESPN eventually will put Fox out of business when it comes to college football? This is, this is a crazy conference realignment world we live in. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.